Hey coaches, Coach Simpson here. Today, nine of fixing your buck sweep. So issues you may have with your buck sweep. This is day nine. If you want more information, I've got it at my website, FB Coach Simpson. About to drop my first first course on Coach Two. Pretty excited about that. So there'll be more information there as well. But so today we're going to talk about handling that backside inside linebacker who makes a lot of tackles uh, when you run buck. Okay, so there's a couple ways we handle him. Uh, if you don't want to get into the complete RPO world, which is where we try to operate, one of the things we've done, which we've stolen from a lot of people, is we've run what we would call key. Uh, power read guys will call it zombie. You know, instead of reading uh, this defensive end, you know, where a lot of a lot of buck sweep teams are going to send this guy on. Okay, we're going to keep him home and let him step hinge. So we have a say so we got a five technique there. Okay, instead of letting him go here and read the backside guy because then they can spill and do different things to play uh, different against your quarterback. We're going to read him. So everyone else is going to block buck sweep normal. Gap down back, gap down back, gap down back, pull kick, pull, get, uh, pull wrap. Okay. And as we're getting the ball right here for buck, our eyes go right there with the quarterback. It's the same exact read as you read on a five technique, so now you're going to read the second level player. And we'll just call that key. Generally, if they're man-to-man, -man, we may be in a flop set to get a guy out of the box. Or if they're zone, we maybe have our twins over here running some kind of RPO fast screen bubble, whatever, just to kind of occupy uh, the outside backers that are going on here. And then we'll read this guy. If he shoots and tries to come fit like most guys do to stop buck sweep, uh, our quarterback will pull it and go. One quick thing I want to talk about if you get into RPOs, if you're a, a wing T guy that done a lot of RPOs, the way you talk to your quarterback is important uh, depending on what you want him to do. You know, uh, years I've had a really dominant runner at quarterback, I've not overcoached it. I've just said, hey, if you think that guy can't get you, you know, pull it and, and run. Uh, years that we've wanted our guy to give the ball, uh, we've told him, hey, if he can't tackle a running back, you know, give the ball. You just got to adjust it on your personnel. Excited this year, I'll have a real good runner back there, so you know, we're hoping we can pull it a little bit more, so we'll, we'll teach him a little differently. You can run multiple different RPOs with Buck. The goal is that we want to be able to read our problems. You know, so this series, we've talked about a problem on the play side, a problem with a, uh, a shaded nose, a problem with a four eye. So now we're going to work how we're going to read the next level of players. And so that's what we love about Buck Sweep over at uh, Southside, and hopefully it'll help you a little bit.